We are the Anti-Starving Artists by Launching Creative. Today we have Hillary Rushford and she's going to answer a question for us. Hillary, thank you so much for being here today. You're a fashion stylist, you're a blogger, you're an entrepreneur, and you definitely know a thing or two about being a creative professional. So if someone were to come up to you and say, Hillary, this idea of being creative for a living, it's just, it's not realistic. It's kind of silly. You need to go out and find a real job. What would you say to them? Um, well, I would tell them that I'm doing it. <laughs> um, so I think that's the, uh, that's the best argument I can make is that um, I was able to make my business profitable um, after about 20 months and that was just about a year ago. So um, for the last year, I've been, um, been making a living working for myself and doing um, creative work and that's not to say that it's not challenging and you have to be very savvy um, in how you're going to go about it and really be, um, be a business person as well as a creative. It definitely takes both, both sides of our head and heart. Um, but it's certainly possible, and there's so many examples of, um, of friends and clients of mine that are out there in the world doing it as well. So I would definitely say look for, look for those mentors who are doing exactly what you want to do. Make sure they actually are making a profit doing it and don't just look like they are or don't just look fancy online, um, but really understand their business and how they're monetizing it and how they're making it profitable, um, and then follow in their footsteps while putting your own spin on it. Yeah, I think that's a terrific answer. I, I especially like the part, just make sure they're actually doing it because <laughs> looks can yeah. be deceiving. Absolutely, and that doesn't mean people are being disingenuous. It just means we tend to lead with our best foot forward on social media and we tend to not show the messy behind the scenes and you know someone else can be in a position where they have a spouse paying a lot of their bills and they have really low cost of living and a variety of things and maybe that's not your case maybe you live in a much maybe they have a full-time job and they're doing this on the side you're thinking you know, this is going to be full time. Um, so whenever I interview fellow creatives for the four part entrepreneur cocktail, I always ask them, give me, give me the lowdown. Is this your full time income? Um, and if they, if they, if it isn't, doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it. Just making sure, you know, when you're following in their footsteps, what your goals are, what their goals are, your definition of success versus someone else's and make sure, um, you're definitely setting yourself up to achieve what you want to achieve and have it look and feel like what is going to be happy, equate to happiness and success to you and your definition of that. Wow. Well, for those of you who are watching, if you like what you just heard, we actually have an entire podcast interview with Hillary. So you can find it at launchingcreative.com slash Hillary Rushford, and we'll see you there. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Well, cool.